While millions of people braved the crowds for Black Friday and Shop Small Saturday, in fact, shoppers dropped more than $50 billion at brick and mortar stores over the weekend. Today is when a lot of people will be getting the bulk of their holiday shopping done. That's right, it is Cyber Monday once again. And while work productivity probably will be down today, online sales will be up. Jumi Olabanji took a look at what shoppers are thinking today, and she has some more. The Black Friday frenzy is over, but today consumers have another reason to keep that spending splurge going. Cyber Monday is the official start to the online holiday shopping season, and the numbers are expected to reach an all-time high. As the consumer spends and the momentum coming out of holiday very well will likely and usually does create growth the following year. Cyber Monday sales topped $1 billion in 2010, and industry analysts estimate that sales this year could reach a record $1.2 billion. If they do, it's great news for the economy, but if they don't, well, this was a one-hit wonder. A record number of shoppers took advantage of sales over the Thanksgiving weekend. Officials say more than 220 million people shopped both online and in stores, proving the holiday shopping season is off to a great start. We felt like we had a little bit more room to, uh, to, to buy more gifts this season. And that was Jimmy Olabanji reporting there. So we asked Stylo Tour Principal Lauren Rothman to come in today to help us figure out some of the best ways that we can save even more on this Cyber Monday. Good to see you, Lauren. Happy Cyber Monday. Have you already been online? I doing have. A I woke up this morning. I was on at midnight. I wanted to see what the deals were that we're debuting. CyberMonday.com. Everybody needs to go there. Does it look as good this year as it has been in past it has, years? We've got over 700 retailers, and that's sort of where the scavenger hunt starts. They have a listing on CyberMonday.com that will show you all the retailers and a lot of their deals. So that's where I went. That was my first stop this morning. Okay. See, so that's my problem. I never know where to start. <laughs> I guess if you have favorite retailers that you frequent over yeah. and over again, those, yeah. that's a good place for people to start. Definitely. I mean, I think this year I felt like I really broke it down for a lot of my clients mm -hmm. in terms of how to manage it when you're tight on time. And items are going to go quickly this morning. So by noon, a lot of them are going to be getting in people's carts and disappearing. So you've well, got to jump online. Well, we've got 45 more minutes. <laughs> Man, this is not good at all. But I, I have a few favorite favorite website yeah, tell that me I think those. will help you throughout the day. So after you visited CyberMonday.com and gotten your deals, then I want you to go to HaveToHave.com. Have so have. it's okay. like I have to have, have it. To have it. Okay. So think about anything you have to have. And when you go to this website, you download a little button, and that gives you an online virtual closet. Fill it with everything you have to have throughout the day or even throughout the holiday this season. This sounds dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> They'll alert you to the lowest prices when sales appear, but it's a great way to manage your lust list. Okay. So, so this is the same as if you um, have a favorite store, you could friend them on Facebook and they would send you... Um, like coupons yes. or special incentives they give and you deals. A heads up. Yeah, this is almost a way to sort of like a, a registry idea, right? This is something, how do you gift yourself and gift keep your gifts organized, so a gift list mm -hmm. on havetohave.com, and it could be something that you could just be keeping track of. We've got free shipping day coming up in December, so again, online virtual closet will let you keep track of all of your holiday gifts and everything that's on your personal, I've got my own personal lust list up there, in case anyone wants to shop for me. What's on your have lust list? <laughs> Tell us a couple items. Well, I have to say, I went on my lust list this morning and already bought a couple of things. So, clothing? One, yes, Jewelry? clothing. I bought clothing. clothing. So, Seven for All Mankind is having amazing Cyber Monday sales. So, I actually brought like a few of the jeans up here because their it's denim, a great brand, huh? it's up to 40% off today. Wow. Special for Cyber Monday. So, great brand, great deals, and I already was on this morning and got myself a new pair. Okay, yeah, <laughs> you set the record straight on, on denim this year. Are we looking for the dark wash still, or is the gray denim in now, or what? Skinny what? and slim. So there's no doubt that that's always hot. But colored denim, so anything from the grays and the burgundies all the way to like bright blue and red are hot too. Bright blue and red. Yep. How about that? <laughs> I could see maybe in the summertime going with brighter colors. I mean, in the winter, right. I kind of like to stay in a darker palette. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, but you've brought several different shades of denim over here. Yeah. Now, yeah. Are, the, uh, are these also the skinny legs? Is the skinny legs still, yes, all, some, still about got, that? This one is actually the bell bottom. Oh, okay, so we have a This one right is the skinny. So you've got the skinny here, and that is still, that's still going. 
So we still got skinny, we still got boot, and we still got flare. But the biggest trend of the season is definitely the bell bottom. Yeah. I can't so tell. that is a big trend that we're seeing. This See what very old retro is new 70s. again, right? <laughs> It's Rachel Zoe influence. <laughs> and you know what else with the um, with the, the wider leg? You can wear the really high. You chunky can. You can heel do the nice and, boots. And then it has this wonderful long leg look. Right. And it's great. beautiful, stunning, very, very slimming. Um, and so thinking about shopping today and what else you might want to shop for. So denim and fashion is high on my list. And you've got some uh, technical yes, items. Yes, some here. tech toys. Electronics. Which is fun because the iPad is on sale at Walmart. So you can actually save a nice chunk at Walmart. The Kindle is also on sale on Amazon. So both of those are great only Cyber Monday deals. And what are we talking about as far as percentage off? Are we talking? You know, I mean, you're, it's a little something. So it's anywhere from 50 to $75. So again, it helps. Every little bit helps. Again, on these newer electronic items, you're not going to see a huge savings like you might on a flat screen TV. Um, but still fun, great, especially if it's on mm -hmm. someone's gift list. And if it's over a certain amount, they probably throw in the free shipping today. Definitely. And there's a lot. Free there day. is. There is. And there's another tool that I love called Invisible Hand. The website is getinvisiblehand.com. When you download this into your browser bar, it will alert you to the lowest price of the item that you are Googling at that moment. So Invisible I hand. live by this <laughs> and it works on fashion electronics and it even works on flights and travel. Wow. So that's a good one to keep in mind. Yeah, it goes hand in hand with Google, which is terrific. So is get that sort of like hand. next tag, which sort of does rate the different prices. It's a little more subtle than that because you don't actually have to price search. Let's just say you're looking up a great pair of shoes that your girlfriend told you about. Let's say you Google them. It's a subtle banner at the top of your screen that will all of a sudden say, hey, you can get these at DSW for even less than Zappos. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so it's a great tool-oriented website. Okay, now over here, uh, tell us about this. Yeah, this is great. This is, um, th this is neckwear. This is a scarf by Pyle Luthra. And the reason I bring this in is to really focus on emerging designers. That's something that for the last couple of years we've really had our eye on. Michelle Obama has done a lot That's for so that. Cool. They're, it's so flexible. There's so much fun stuff you can do with wow. that. But what's amazing is that you're seeing websites like Etsy and different emerging designers who have pop-up shops in different spots around the country. Um, Pyle Luthra was just featured at Bendel's. So this last week had a pop-up shop, which is great, and she's offering 10% off for Cyber Monday. So you're wow. seeing a lot of these independent emerging designers offering special Cyber Monday deals, and that's new this year. And this is so cool because there's no beginning or end to that's it. That's right. It's great for kids. It's just great for people. Just throw it over your people. head right. and it's ready to go. No wrapping involved. Right. I love that. Okay. What are your favorite, uh, any any other favorite sites you want to throw our way before we well, wrap Well, I'm up? absolutely loving Theory right now has up to 40% off. We've got Seven for All Mankind, also 40% off. The entire Entire Gap family, so Banana Republic, Piper Lime, um, we've also got Athleta, all of that Old Navy, also up to 40 and 50 percent off for Cyber Monday. Something for everybody There's there. There's so many deals, <laughs> I can't wait to keep shopping. Lauren Rothman, happy shopping today, and hopefully you will score some great deals. And we're Thank gonna you. Try to too. Thanks so much for coming in.